Hello friends, welcome back. In this lecture, we will see how to use variable in style component. So first, we will make the screens side by side. So you will see properly what I'm going to do, okay? So let me make a little bigger and let's close this, okay? So now we need to make a variable. So I'll create a variable const and the name of the variable will be color, which is equal to purple. Okay, now I need this color purple in my button. Okay, so I'll remove this white color and to access this variable, I'll write dollar JavaScript expression and the name of the variable. And once I save this, you can see, you will see the color uh, changes to purple. Okay, so let me save this. So as you saw, this color has changed to purple. Okay. Now, instead of purple, if I want orange color, so I'll remove this purple color and I'll write orange. If I save this, you will see the color of the text has changed to orange. Now, uh, let's move further and I want margin and padding in both these buttons. So, for that, I'll create a variable const padding, which is equal to padding which is equal to one REM, okay? And then for margin, const margin, which is equal to margin equals to one REM. So as you saw, uh, in a variable, we can store property and value. And here we can, in this variable, we have store only value. So we can store both property and value, okay? So let's save this. And now to access this padding here, we need to write dollar JavaScript expression and then padding. And same for margin dollar sign for margin dollar sign curly braces and margin. And we need to give semicolon. Okay. So now let's copy this whole thing. And here also we need to paste it. So once I save this, you will see margin and padding in both the buttons. So let me save this file margin is not defined okay spelling is wrong so let me save this so now as you saw we got the padding and the margin for both the buttons okay so let's move ahead and do something interesting so we will create a function okay so let's create a function with the name border which is equal to an arrow function and this will return, uh, we need to give back tick keys and this will return strings, okay? So here I will write border which is equal to 5px solid and yellow. Okay, let me save this, okay? Now, to access this variable, uh, here I need the border. Okay, so I'll remove this none. I'll remove the whole thing, and here I will write dollar curly braces border, and I'll give parentheses because I want to immediately invoke this function and semicolon. So if I save this, you will see we got a border of five pixels, and the color of the border is yellow. Now we can pass a parameter inside this function. So width and instead of this five pixels, we will write dollar curly braces and width. And here we need to pass the argument. So I need a border width of 10 px, okay? So if I save this, you saw that we got a border of 10 px, okay? Now I will add a default parameter. So width, which is equal to five, px okay and here in the second button i'll remove this border and i'll write border sorry dollar javascript expression border and i'll immediately invoke this function but i will not pass any argument inside this so what will happen is this border uh, it will get a five pixel of border okay here because we have given a default of uh, default width of 5px 
So let me save this. Okay, I have to give a semicolon. So let me save this file. So as you saw, the default border has been added in this button. And here the border with this 10 px, which is this one. So by default, it will take five pixels. And if we pass an if we pass an argument, then it will take that width. Okay. So in this way, we can use variables in style component. So this is it for this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and bye bye.